Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Newell and welcome to my 39 week pregnancy update. I can almost just not even believe that I am 39 weeks pregnant. 39! Crazy! Uh, I've talked a lot about how fast the time has gone and yet how slow the time has gone. It seems like just yesterday I found out I was pregnant and yet that seems like so, so long ago. Um, it has just been really crazy. This has just been a really crazy journey and I have to say I am glad that it is almost over. <laughs> Even though we have a whole new journey coming for us, I know. This week baby is the size of a watermelon and yes, I feel like I am carrying around a watermelon pretty much. Uh, my due date is still September 15th, although we are having a c-section tomorrow on September 9th. Yay! <laughs> Um, so this is the day before my c-section and <sighs> yeah it's insane doctor's appointments I had my pre-op appointment last Thursday and um, it went pretty well we just talked about the surgery what was gonna happen um, just going over everything and you know I mean I'm terrified <laughs> because it is surgery but also I've had a lot of surgeries in the past, so, you know, there's kind of a, a familiar feeling to it, I guess. Um, however, I have never been awake for any of my surgeries. So that will be a new experience, and I'm a little bit terrified because if I start thinking too much about, like, the fact that they're cutting me open and there's blood and all of this stuff, um, that's not going to go over well, too well. So my husband's job is going to be to distract me. <laughs> To not think about all of that stuff. Symptoms this week are pretty much the same as they have been. I am still swelling, although my swelling has actually gone down, um, which is wonderful. I was just looking at my feet yesterday and going, I do not see like the flip-flop marks that are always there anymore. Um, and my hands still hurt, but they're not as bad as they were, which is actually surprising because we're going through another heat wave right now. But for some reason the swelling has gone down, so that's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm still taking Unisom and B6. I did t not take it one day last week because um, last Wednesday night I had a fun little experience. <laughs> um, I think I just overdid it. I, you know, I was doing grocery shopping in the morning and then my husband and I went out, we saw a movie, went to dinner. And that afternoon I just noticed I was having quite a few Braxton Hicks. Um, and I, I have quite a few of them periodically, but um, I was having a lot of them and I was starting to just feel kind of a little bit crampy, a little bit, just a little bit off. And so we were driving home after dinner and I told my husband, you know, I'm having a lot of contractions. This is kind of weird. Like I, I probably should go home and monitor these. And he kind of freaked out a little, like, do you think she's actually like coming tonight or something like you know I don't know it could be nothing it you know maybe I'm just dehydrated it was warm we've been sitting a lot and walking a lot and you know this stuff happens so I went home and I started monitoring them around 8 p.m. And they were about three minutes apart and then every once in a while I'd have one that was like five minutes or seven minutes or um, but they were only in the front they weren't in the back um, but they were total like either bottom to top or top to bottom I don't remember um, and they were lasting like a minute a minute and a half so I did end up calling the doctor and she said it could be real it might not be try to rest take a bath try to sleep if you can just see if you can get them to go away on their own. That'll prove that they're not real. Um, but if they increase in intensity and they start really hurting, then definitely come in. But um, because I was only 38 weeks in one day, um, she said that if you're not like dilating to a three or a four, uh, we're just going to send you home because we're not going to do a C-section before 39 weeks unless you're progressing. So um, I took a bath and that actually made it worse. They were coming every like two minutes and they were getting more painful and so I got up to call again uh, but 
as soon as I laid down in the recliner, it was like 10 minutes before I had another one, and then they just kind of went away. So I finally went to sleep around like 11, 11.30 um, after having them for like three, well, I was timing them for about three hours, but it was a lot more than that. So that was fun, but I think it really kind of gave my husband a wake-up call that, oh yeah, she's coming. Like, it's happening. <laughs> and it's happening soon, whether it was, you know, beforehand or whether it's, you know, tomorrow at our C-section. But anyways, that was our little Wednesday night uh, fun adventure. Um, but anyway, back to the Unisama V6. I didn't take my Unisama V6 that night because I didn't know if I would end up needing to go to the hospital later. And when I woke up at Thursday morning, I did not feel well. And I did not feel well all of Thursday, which partly had to do with the sleep deprivation because I was exhausted. Um, but so ever since then, I've continued to take the Unisama V6 because it just helps me feel more human in the morning. So, um, obviously I'm still achy. I'm still, I feel pretty crampy at night. I'm 39 weeks pregnant. <laughs> There's nothing new here. Um, I still have had Braxton Hicks sporadically, but nothing timeable. Um, nothing like Wednesday. Sleep is awful, which partly has to do with the heat and partly has to do with I'm just uncomfortable in every single position, but that's again, nothing new. Um, I have had some acid reflux still and yeah I am just ready to have this baby out. My emotions this week have been a mix of excitement and nervousness and just trying to wrap my head around the fact that I'm having a baby and in a couple of days I'm bringing a baby home and life will never be the same. <laughs> um, it's I, I can't even explain it and um, part of it has to do with the fact that I do have PTSD and I have um, had issues with dissociation for uh, many many years so it's very easy for me to go into denial and like kind of separate myself from my emotions and from reality so it is going to be interesting um, how I adjust to her birth the whole birth experience and to having a newborn um, and you know if I experience anything I don't know out of the ordinary or whatever that I feel like I want to talk about I will do a video on that in a couple of weeks on just like how I'm adjusting with um, the PTSD the anxiety and the dissociation and motherhood and all of that stuff um, I'm a little bit scared about that because I do have issues with attachment because of that um, and you know I'm hoping that I just see her and instantly you know fall in love and start bonding with her and I know it may not be an instant process but um, I know that skin to skin and that breastfeeding and all those things help with bonding um, obviously I do have also also have a history of depression so I am at higher risk for postpartum depression so I will be definitely watching out for that as well and you know these are things that I've known for a long time might be issues for me with having kids so it's just going to be kind of a a learning experience as we go and I will definitely keep you guys updated with anything that is going on but yeah I, I am very excited for her to be here I am very excited to be a mom my husband is very excited to be a dad uh, my grand my parents are really excited to be grandparents and it's just really fun just watching the community my weight gain this week actually looks like it is down a pound um, so that puts me up a total of gaining 46 pounds for this pregnancy which hey it's under 50 I'm good with that um, it's been very interesting though because everybody that I have talked to this week and I've told them that you know I'm having a c-section on 39 weeks has looked at my belly and looked at me and gone no you're so tiny like you're so small there, you can't possibly be ready to give birth and I mean I know I'm not I don't have a gigantic belly but um they have never said anything about me measuring small you know Maddie is completely average 50 something percentile um you know I, I'm not sure what they're not seeing because I'm looking at this going I've gained 46 pounds um <laughs> I'm 
not tiny but I've definitely gained weight in other parts of my body other than my belly and like my nurse did tell me weeks ago she said you know you are all baby like this is the probably seven ish pounds of Maddie that's my belly there's no extra anything there so I don't know it's just interesting to hear people say that I haven't heard I don't think I've heard anybody say like you look you're about to pop or anything this entire pregnancy so oh well um cravings and aversions I am still craving sweet things ice cream you know the usual um aversions the only thing I can really think of is beef I have just I mean this has been the whole pregnancy I'm not a beef person to begin with but um the whole pregnancy I've just kind of been like ugh, beef ugh, I just mm. <laughs> I will eat it in some dishes, but um, just other ones just like just the thought of it just is disgusting. Essential oils I used this week. I may have used some thieves. I don't remember. Preparations for baby has just been last minute house cleaning, cooking, uh, cleaning out our cars, just making sure that everything is clean and ready because I'm not going to be doing that when I come home. <laughs> So it's just been last minute preparations, making sure that everything is set up and ready for her to come home. And um, you know, we've got our hospital bags back here, just making sure that everything is packed and ready. And yeah, we are ready to have baby. And that is insane. <laughs> no baby buys this week. Well, that's not true. I did make an Amazon order that included a bib and some more breast pads, but it's not here yet. So, <laughs> um, other than that, let's take a look at the belly. It's the last belly shot. Ah! And, um, yeah, very, very, very soon you will be seeing a baby. Oh, follow me on Instagram because we will be posting her first pictures on Instagram. I will be doing some filming in the hospital. We can't film the C-section or anything like that, but, um, in our room, I probably will be doing some filming of us. But I don't know if I have the ability to upload from the hospital. I will have to play around with it. I might be able to do it from my iPad, um, but I don't have an iPhone and I've always had trouble, I have an Android and I've always had trouble um, sending videos and stuff. So I don't know, I might figure out a way to do it and might do some mobile uploads, um, but with my video camera, I know I can't. So we'll just kind of see how it goes, but definitely, definitely follow us on Instagram. Um, I may or may not post anything in the morning on our way there. We'll see. Um, but you will definitely see pictures of her at some point tomorrow. So that is all. Let's look at the belly. Okay, let's see if you can see this. This is the 39 week belly. <laughs> it is outgrowing most of my clothes. So I'm living in tank tops, basically. <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, that is it for 39 weeks, my very last pregnancy vlog. Thank you so much for watching on this journey and definitely stay tuned for baby videos, postpartum, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Also, as the belly has grown, I have been keeping up with